Right you guys, got another product review. This is the Chewy Hi8 Pro Tablet PC. Now this has Windows 10 and also 5.1 Android on it. So it's a dual booting system. Uh, here's some of the specs on the side. As you can see here, 64-bit quad-core Z8350, frequency 1.92 gigahertz, two gigabytes of RAM, and 32 gigabytes of storage. Now also what you're gonna get here is uh, external memory you can take up to 128 gigabyte SD card on there or micro SD card 8 inch screen 1920 by 1200 IPS panel C front and back cameras are 2 megapixels inside so I'm not expecting too much from those also 4000 milliamp hour battery on there as well uh, which uh, does 3 hours of video play time on that little battery now also as you can see here this system is a dual booting system as we've already mentioned but what that means is you can either boot straight into an android operating system or you can boot straight into a windows 10 operating system depending on what you fancy so inside the box here this is what you're going to get you're going to get your uh, power adapter this is going to have a, a usb a port in there so you can plug in your usb into that it's a two pin prong uh, plug there which will uh, plug into any sort of adapter you've got your USB cable here with a normal standard uh, USB 2.0 and also a type C connector which plugs into the actual device now you've got all your warranty uh, cards here so all your thank you card and warranty cards and warranty uh, quality control check card as well so basically when you charge up your device uh, this is just going to tell you exactly what to do when you first get your device. This is the warranty control uh, pass certificate here to say it's passed its all its tests. And uh, you've got loads of other stuff here. Inspection report. And uh, you have your manual, your user manual, which is in uh, English and other languages, as you can see here, with uh, color pictures in there as well to help you set up your uh, device. So let's take a look at the last uh, document here, which is your user manual, which looks like it's in Chinese. There may be some English in here, uh, but this is another user manual that you can use. And that's pretty much it. This is what you're going to get when you order yours. It's around about 70 odd pounds, this tablet, and the build quality is not too bad. And uh, again, eight inch screen IPS panel is pretty nice uh, and colorful. Now, the cameras are not that great, to be honest, at two megapixels, uh, but they are on there you've got one on the front and one on the rear it's got a placed plastic uh, back here as you can see there is your rear facing camera it does an okay job nothing uh, to shout home about but it does a job of taking photos and videos you can see the name and some information here about the device itself you have your speaker down the bottom here and the sound on it is not too bad if the sound quality is pretty okay you have this lovely silver chrome sort of bezel around here that micro sd card slot where you can put in your extra storage up to 128 gigabytes and your rocker buttons here for your power and for your volume and brightness and stuff like that as well so as you can see this is uh, on the side so it's got a quite quite a nice look to it really on the top here you can see some other areas you've got an audio jack here 3.5 mil audio jack we've got hdmi uh slot there and also a type c a USB uh, port on there as well and I'll just check around the other side and there's nothing on this side at all so that's the only uh, controls on this device nice little chrome bezel here let me just remove this plastic cover here so we can take a look now these are pretty useful to have tablets as you can see we have the Windows logo on there this is also home button you can push that and it'll take you straight back straight back to the home screen as well and this is the dual boot here you can either boot up to an Android 5.1 or you can boot up to Windows 10 so I'm just going to quickly boot up uh, to Windows 10 here you can choose whichever one you want got a little countdown screen and I think that's quite nice to have uh, the choice of two operating systems so you can see here we're starting this up and uh, there we go uh, this is the uh, Android as you can see here now it is only Android 5.1 but that should be uh, pretty much ample for what you need to do as you can see here pull this down you can change the brightness as well so it's on three quarters of the way you can just turn it up a little bit so you get maximum brightness there I also did some scans here for the uh, stage fright detector there was no issues on there so at all you can see everything come up clean on the stage fright no vulnerabilities and uh, I also run some other tests on here 
The multi-touch tester was pretty good as you can see here. I managed to get all my 10 fingers on there to register 10. Uh, obviously I ain't got no more fingers. I'm just gonna get my toes out and start using those, but 10 fingers was to suffice and that was to, the job to do. As you can see here, registered just fine. And uh, also we did some uh, read and write speeds for the memory. As you can see, the scores there, 42.97 reads and 43.87 megabytes per second writes, which is pretty nice as well. Now the Wi-Fi worked pretty well on here, as you'll see, I'll just tap the uh, selection here, find my Wi-Fi and we'll connect up. Now obviously this is going to be uh, dependent on how close you are to the router and uh, I was uh, pretty close to the router here, that's probably why it maxed out very quickly. So very straightforward and easy to do. And also we're going to take a look at IADA64 and go through here, as you can see here, the i8 Pro, the Chewy uh, manufacturer name. You can see the installed RAM, 2 gigs and 32 gig ROM. Intel Atom X5 Z8350, the Cherry Trail uh, CPU on there, which has got four cores on there, which is very nice indeed. And uh, we'll take a look at the uh, next section here. You can see the uh, L2 cache on there as well, and the CPU utilization is at 4%, so it's pretty idle at the moment. So there's, that is the actual CPU that's built onto this device. Works pretty well. I'm going to go onto the display to show you that 1920 by 12 IPS LCD uh, panel. The screen size is 172 millimeters by 108 millimeters, uh, 8 inches, 283 dpi on there as well. Pretty nice. So, default orientation is portrait. So, let's move on down to where it says battery. As you can see here, 4000 milliamp battery on there lithium-ion battery it's in good health levels 93 percent and uh, we can move on to the Android and we already know that it's got Android 5.1 lollipop on here a rooted device which means it is rooted which is nice and we've also got Windows uh, 10 on here as well which won't show up here uh, because we're booted up into the Android but yeah that's nice to uh, have that also the thermals are pretty good here, uh, was running some testing on here so you can see it runs pretty cool. So not too bad for the money, it's around about 70 odd pounds this uh, tablet so pretty decent to get a dual booting system for that sort of money. So I'm just going to go back here and go back to the main screen and run a scan with ESET on demand scanner and as you can see here no frets was found, completely clean. So no uh, bloatware or spyware or anything like that on there. Nice and clean Android and Windows device. So let's move on to some other tests here. And uh, I'll let you see those. So you can play games for this as well. Now this is not the most taxing of games, but it does play games. Uh, you can get these off the Google Play Store. Google Play Store does come uh, installed on the Android device. And you can use either the tap method here which I'm using or you can use the rotating left and right depends what you want to do this was just easier to film this way so you've got your games here let's move on to uh, Geekbench here and do a Geekbench score to let you know what the score is so we'll just go ahead and run that now you can see here on the single core it's 902 and on the multi core it is 2075 and that is running on the Android system of uh, 5.1 which isn't too bad so let's move on to some other tests here so you can see uh, what some of the results is you see the scrolling is very smooth and also the pinch and zoom is pretty good as well you can see there's no lag there at all pretty fast processor pretty decent and uh, let's just go ahead and uh, take a look at the pinch and zoom here to show you what that looks like so you can see here this is pretty smooth as well works pretty okay not too bad it's also pretty good at playing YouTube movies or movies in general so if it's just something like TV shows or movies you can stream these straight off of YouTube here as you can see quality is pretty good so let me just go ahead and play that for you and the sound isn't too bad, I've muted the sound on this one, but I'll play you some sound from the music in a moment, and you'll be able to hear that. But the actual picture quality is pretty good, a 
apart from all the fingerprints all over the screen uh, but other than that it is a pretty decent picture quality and you'd expect that from the IPS panel 1920 by 1200 so it's quite nice and what we'll do is we'll take a listen uh, to some music here so you can hear the sound quality so you're not going to get the true sound uh, from it but you will hear what it sounds like uh, with the music coming out so I'll let you have a listen to this right now So as you can see the sound wasn't too bad now this is a picture I took with the rear facing camera 2 megapixels can't expect too much but it's okay you can see the colors there it's a little bit washed out um, but it looks okay it's not the best camera in the world but you are only getting a 2 megapixel uh, forward facing and rear facing camera on this so I'll try and take one of the cactus so you can see some sort of definition here as you can see it does look a little bit blurry in places uh, it doesn't pick out the little prongs uh, but it is what it is you know what I mean it's a 70 odd pounds tablet at the end of the day but it will uh, get by and take some photos for you so as you can see the video quality was pretty much the same it wasn't uh, fantastic but it was okay uh, for a tablet and as you can see here the rotation on this works pretty well as well you just have to tilt it towards you and it will rotate and uh, except they can see tilt back there and it goes into uh, location okay so the rotation works pretty well and that's pretty much it that is the Chewy Hi8 Pro uh, tablet and uh, I hope you enjoyed it I'll leave all the links and information in the video description if you're interested thanks again for watching guys have a great weekend and I shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now